Today, we're going to practice interpreting bar graphs. So that means we're going to look at what's in the graph and answer a question about them. So our first question says, while at the store, Christopher made a bar graph of all the things that he had seen. Which things did Christopher see the most? So when we're looking at our graph, what I like to do, especially if it's on paper, I like to mark it off. So for example, apples are up to the three. And then I mark right on it. So then I'm not having to go back and look at it again. If you can't write on a graph, you can just write it down. You can draw an apple quick and put a three, or you could put A for apple. Bicycles, the bar goes up to one. So he saw one bicycle. <clears throat> and tricycles, that goes all the way up to the two. So which things did he see the most? Which bar is the highest? It's apples. Good job. Next one. While at the store, Jacob made a bar graph of all the things he had seen. Which things did Jacob see most? Okay, so you mark it off. Tricycles, the bar goes up to the five. So he saw five tricycles. Action figures goes up to the four. And bicycles goes to the one. So again, what did he see the most of? You could just look at the height of the bar, whichever one is the tallest, or you can look at the actual numbers that we wrote down. Whichever way you do it, the answer is tricycles. At, while at the store, Avery made a bar graph of all the things she had seen. Which, did, which things did Avery see the most? Okay, let's mark it up. Apples, the bar goes to three. Tricycle, the bar goes to four, and bicycles, just one. So do we want to know if she saw the most or the least? Most. So what did she see the most of? She saw the most tricycles. Next one. While at the store, Abigail made a bar graph of all the things she had seen. Which things did Abigail see most? Okay, so again, we're doing most. All right, how many apples? Five. How many globes? Three. And how many action figures? Two. So again, we want the most. So what did she see the most of? Apples. Nice job. Next one. While at the store, Haley made a bar graph of all the things she'd seen. Which things did Haley see the most? All right, let's mark it. How many apples did she see? Two. How many action figures did she see? Five. How about globes? How many globes did she see? Four. And we want to know the most. So which one did she see the most of? Action figures. Way to go. Let's try another one. Well, at the store, Cameron made a bar graph of all the things that he had seen. How many more bicycles than tricycles did Cameron see? Now, this is an example of a problem where it's really good that you mark off your bars because our question is saying, how many more? When I say how many more, that means I'm comparing. And if I'm comparing, that means I'm subtracting. When I see the phrase, how many more, that means I'm going to have to subtract. So, first things first, let's label our bars. How many bikes or bicycles did Cameron see? Cameron saw four. How about tricycles? Just one. And how many globes? There's a lot of globes. He saw five. Okay, the question asks, how many more bicycles than tricycles? So what do I need to do with the bicycles and tricycles? Well, we said that we're comparing. It says how many more? And we said how many more means subtract. 
So what is so what is four minus one? That equals three. So three more. Next one. While at the store, Luke made a bar graph of all the things he had seen. How many more apples than bicycles did Luke see? Okay. Key phrase again. How many more? So what does that mean we're doing? We're comparing. So do I need to add or subtract? Subtract. Okay. What are we comparing? Apples to bicycles. Okay. How many apples do we have? Two. How many bicycles do we have? One. So if I'm comparing apples to bicycles, what do I need to do with the two and the one? What did our hint tell us? Subtract. So what is two minus one? One. Good job. So he saw one. So he saw one more. Next, while at the store, Jaden while at the store, Jaden made a bar graph of all the things he had seen. Did they, did Jaden see more bicycles or tricycles? Okay, let's label. How many tricycles did he see? Five. How many bicycles? Three. How many apples? Also, three. The question said, did he see more bicycles or tricycles? So although we're comparing, we don't need to subtract because it just says, which one did he see more of? So what did he see more of, tricycles or bicycles? Well, five is greater than three, so he saw more tricycles. Let's do another one. While at the store, Ryan made a bar graph of all the things he had seen. Did Ryan see more bicycles or tricycles? All right, let's mark it off. How many tricycles? Four. How many action figures? Five. Now you might say, why are we marking it off? We don't need it for this question. But I always like to label everything. Because let's say you have a paper and you have a graph on a paper and you answer one question. Who's to say that you're not going to need to answer other questions about that same graph? This way the work's already done. You don't have to go back and recount things. Bicycles, how many bicycles? Five. Okay, so did he see more bicycles or tricycles? Well, bicycles was five. Tricycles was four, which is greater. Five is greater, so he saw more bicycles. Okay, last one. While at the store, Andrew made a bar graph of the things he had seen. Did Andrew see more tricycles or bicycles? All right, how many tricycles? Five. How many bicycles? Four. How many action figures? Three. So what did he see more of? Tricycles or bicycles? He saw more tricycles. Good job. You did a great job with these bar graphs today.